Well, for many parents, finding work-life balance is a real battle, dealing with daily pressures while trying to satisfy everyone. Tonight, in the second part of our Growing SA series, I explore family life in our state. Is this the best place in the country to try and have it all? Well, my heart starts racing at about 10 past three because I know that I've got to pick the kids up, you know, and I set off in the Chirago most of the time because I'm running late. Amanda Blair is on a quest, the quest to have it all. Pick up the kids and then it's just the crazy hour, as most mums and dads will know. The much-loved media personality quit her high-profile radio job, finding the fine balance between full-time work and family life too hard to achieve. I couldn't be at the school sports where my kids needed me and also at work. Now, I'm really fortunate fortunate that I've been able to do that, but for other people it's not quite so easy. Two thirds of mothers and almost 50% of fathers say they feel rushed trying to balance responsibilities. I think for working mums and dads, I don't know, maybe free babysitting for everyone, that would be, <laughs> would be quite good. No, but I think that to increase um, that flexibility in the workforce and to look for those opportunities wherever possible would be really helpful because I think that's the only way to manage a family. Being a parent is the hardest job in the world. At only 28, Ilya Soturis is one of the state's youngest school principals and in his relatively short career he's learned just how important parents are to their child's development. As a school we need to connect with parents and supporting them so that they can support their children. When children can see that students and parents and teachers are all working together in, a co in the common aim of providing them with a high quality of education and care. Um, that the learning is definitely more powerful. And when they grow up, supporting them might actually mean encouraging them to leave South Australia. I, in fact, have already started working out what I'm giving my kids for their 18th birthday, and it's a ticket, it's a one-way ticket overseas. And I'm being quite serious about that, not because I want to get them out of my house. But for me, I left and travelled when I was 18, and it was a tremendous experience. I hope more of them leave, uh, provided they come back. <laughs> It's the opposite of what policymakers have been trying to achieve. But University of Adelaide Vice Chancellor Professor Warren Bebbington says encouraging our best and brightest to leave will benefit our state in the long term. I mean, the future here is not padlocking uh, kids to the ground in South Australia. It's, it's sending them out knowing they'll come back. I mean, they love South Australia, they will come back. And Professor Bevington says students shouldn't have to wait until their study is complete. I'd like to see many more schools and universities having study abroad opportunities for their students so we get more and more students away for a period while they're being educated. And it's hoped they'll come back to Adelaide where they'll have one of the best chances of achieving that balance between career and family. Most people when they go to work in the morning they don't have a two and a half hour commute like they do in Sydney. They can get to work earlier which means that they get home earlier, which also means that they can spend more time with their children. And we'll bring you the next story in our Growing SA series tomorrow night.